How's it going, guys? Uh, sorry it's been a while since my last video. It's been around three weeks or so. Uh, these are my latest, uh, not my latest, so I picked all this stuff up in the past uh, probably two and a half weeks or so. Uh, garage sales, estate sales, uh, thrift store, uh, one auction. Uh, like I said over and over, uh, unfortunately, COVID has destroyed the uh, in-person auction uh, business. I used to go to probably in the summer three to four auctions every week, whether it be like right after work or Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays. Uh, used to go to them all the time. Now uh, there might be one or two in this entire area per week, so really hard to find the uh, in-person auctions. Ended up buying this flat though at an auction uh, last Thursday. Um, Thought I'd share because I've sold most of the stuff on eBay and it actually ended tonight. Uh, all I, I love buying stuff like this because it's often overlooked. You have a couple just empty boxes. I have this car in here that's broken, uh, missing a wheel. Uh, but this is the type of stuff I love to buy, uh, like I said, because it's, it gets overlooked. I ended up paying uh, $15 for this flat. Uh, this was at a consignment auction, so people would bring in lots of stuff. They'd put them in these flats, and they'd sell them by the flat. Uh, some auctioneers would actually pull out a certain item, and you know they'd ask if anybody wanted a certain item. And if nobody wanted, they'd just sell the entire flat. But like I said, I paid uh, $15 for this entire flat, and three of the items actually sold tonight. On eBay, so this empty uh, Dinky Toys uh, box, I think this was from like 1960, if I believe. Uh, they end up selling for $80, so $79.95 just for that box. Uh, this model car, it's I think it's a, a jo Johan. Uh, the axle fell off from uh, 1966. It's kind of a rare model. It's a Monaco. I think it's a Dodge. Um, but there's the hood. Uh, the motor's in there somewhere. It just has uh, one wheel on the axle. Uh, that sold for $59.95. And then just this empty box here. Matchbox Series uh, Service Station MG1. I had the starting bid on this for $55. I had two people. Uh, one guy offered me $70 if I ended it early. Had another guy uh, offer me uh, $75 if I ended it. Uh, normally, people ask to end an auction early, uh, and they give me a, an offer. I usually turn it down because generally it ends, ends up higher than their offers. And uh, sure enough, uh, with about a minute to go, it had a... a a bit of $56 and the last probably 10 seconds it jumped up and this sold for $128.05. So obviously an outstanding find there of $15 and 60, 80 and almost 130 for just those three items. There's a couple other neat pieces in here. This uh, there's a four matchbox uh, catalogs. Uh, this was the initial catalog in 1960, and then there's one from uh, 1964, 1965, and 1963. I had those listed on eBay for auction, starting bid of $99.95. Uh, I think I had like five or six watchers. Nobody ended up bidding on it. I did uh, relist that with uh, best offer. So outstanding buy there at the uh, consignment auction there for $15. And uh, all the stuff I picked up, uh, some watches. For $750, I found this at a garage sale. I asked the guy if he was kind of surprised if I knew who this was. Uh, I knew right away it was Herman Killebrew. Um I used to be a baseball card dealer back in the day, so I'm familiar with his autograph. Uh, no certificate of authenticity, but uh, he got this in person. I tend to believe him. And I looked up his uh, signature online, and it matches uh, right on. Only 750 for that. 
did find some uh, vintage watches over the past uh, couple weeks. Found this uh, new old stock Waltham Quartz LC. So have that in the original box. And then found some Seikos. So have this uh, Seiko 5 automatic. I think this is uh, probably from the late 70s. Late to mid 70s on that. It is running, keeping time. And then I found these on an ask. Uh, just a lady uh, didn't have any men's type stuff and asked her if she had some old watches. And she said she had... Uh, her husband had passed away and she had a couple of his watches. So I ended up getting uh, this uh, Seiko Automatic. It's a uh, Lordmatic, one of their uh, higher end uh, models. So have that one. I think that's from the early 70s. And then another nice Lordmatic with the green dial. Unfortunately, the uh, prism crystal fell off. So that's gonna hurt the value even though it is running. So I ended up getting that stuff. And then just today, in another uh, amazing watch find, have a uh, Ernest Borel, the uh, cocktail watch automatic. Uh, if you look at my videos from, that's probably four, Three or four years ago, I found one of these at a junk, uh, in a junk box at an auction. Um, but I actually like this model better, even though it's uh, not skeletonized like the other one, because it's an automatic and it's uh, larger. You can just see the movement on that. It's like this watch was uh, rarely even worn. And yes, it was only $19.99 at a thrift store. So another amazing uh, thrift store watch find. So um, these watches still can be found at thrift stores. And then um, some of you people may know what's in this box. I've never found a set of this um, at a, an estate sale or a garage sale. I've heard about people finding stuff like this, but I've never have. Uh, even... When you do find sets like this, maybe one out of every 100 or one out of every 200 are actually sterling. So if you guessed a, a flatware set, have a sterling silver flatware set uh, that was found at a garage sale. So look at the spoon here. You see uh, International, and it's Mark Sterling. So they're all Mark Sterling. Right up there, it's Mark Sterling. So the weight on that is uh, almost 2,000 grams, uh, 60 ounces, uh, just for this stuff. Uh as an education, uh, sterling knives, just the handles are sterling. So just the handles are sterling and then the blades themselves are usually stainless steel. Then the carving set, uh, again, just the handles are sterling. So uh, an amazing find. Uh, I paid a garage sale price for this. So uh, I've never found any sterling flatware before. And just an amazing find. Uh, I'll go in my personal uh, silver uh, savings account, I should say. So, uh, yeah, these are the finds the last uh, few weeks. Uh, one again, uh, thank you guys that have uh, subscribed, uh, you guys and ladies. I do have uh, some lady uh, followers. Uh, again, uh, take care and have a good night.